Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today, we will be covering a workaround for Home Assistant supervised on Synology. We'll start in 10 seconds. Before we begin today's video, I would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now let's get cracking with the video. Today we will be covering a workaround for Home Assistant Supervised or HASIO Sino Community Package on Synology. Please remember, Synology is unsupported hardware, meaning that you will not be getting any support from Home Assistant developer teams. If you do have any kind of an issue or a problem, you can try contacting either me in the Discord server or going to the Sino community specific link that I will be putting in the description of the video. Synology is not supported device and as such is not listed on Home Assistant official page listing all the supported devices. But still, with this workaround, you can make it work either for the first time that we'll be covering this video but also if you already do have Home Assistant supervised or HASIO package installed but cannot currently update it. There will be two parts of the video. In first part I will be covering installation of the Sino community package done by Frederike for Home Assistant supervised or so-called HASIO package. This will be enough for new users that want to try or start using Home Assistant supervised on unsupported, but still working platform of Synology. In the second part of the video, I will be covering on what you have to do if you already have HASIO package from Sino Community Store installed. Also, please remember, this is working at the time of the recording of the video. Who knows what will be happening in the month or two. And also, Frederick has already pushed new version of the HASIO package, unsupported HASIO package, that has this workaround built in. So if you are watching this in the future, hi, you may already download a package that contains this fix. Please read the description of the package to make sure that this fix has already been applied. Let's start with the brand new installation. This is a clean system and I will try and install package from Frederike on this system. First thing, let's go to package center installed and check that you have docker installed also install text editor because we will be using it to edit or create one file next thing go to settings select for trust level any publisher go to package sources and here let's add new package add it will be called sino community and here you have to paste the link to Sino Community Store. You can find the link also in the description of the video. Press OK. Let's close this settings window. Click on Community tab and search for HASIO. There are two versions. One is Home Assistant Core and the other one is HASIO from Frederike. We will be installing this one as we want to install everything including the supervisor to have ability to add add-ons. Let's click on install. Select here volume. You can leave the data folder as is and click next. And yes, we want to run this after installation. While this is installing, meaning downloading and preparing everything, and it can take some time, a really a long time, let's go to File Station. Hasayo folder. And here we will create one new file. Open Text Editor. And inside Text Editor, create new file. Paste this line here that will be also included in the description of the video select file 
save as, go to HASIO and rename this to jobs.json and press save. As you can see, now in this folder we have this one new file called jobs.json. If we open the file, it includes only one line of code with ignore conditions healthy. It has been now starting for the four minutes. Let's check the logs. And if we go up, we will see this. System is running in unsupported environment. System is running in an unhealthy state and ignoring supervisor updates. Here also, network manager is not correctly configured, unsupported OS and system D is not working correctly. Let's close this. And let's see if the home assistant is available. Let me quickly fill this in. This is the system, it has nothing installed, but we want just to check if everything is working. Let's go to supervisor. And as you can see, here we have two things. We have option to update to Home Assistant Core 2020 version 12.0 and supervisor 2020.12.6. Let's click here. Normally, by this time, if you didn't put that jobs.json file, you would already receive an error saying to check your log files. Let's go to system. Let's see the log files here. As you can see, we have here critical. The following job conditions are ignored and we make the system unstable when they occur. Healthy, we are ignoring. This is related to this error. And this error, if you do not have jobs.json, will ignore all the updates or make your system unavailable for the any update. This update can be either to home assistant, to supervisor or to any add-ons. Also, without this jobs.json file, you will not be able to even install new add-ons. Home Assistant Core 2020.12.0 is downloading. As you can see here, when it finishes downloading, it will install it and we will have new version of Home Assistant running. Please remember, this is not a fix. This is just a workaround to make system that is unsupported, running in an unhealthy state, available to you, so you can make update. Also, this workaround doesn't mean that the same workaround will work in one month, three months, six months or a year. Hopefully, we will have version of Docker 19.3 plus additional prerequisites to make this working on the Synology. As you can see, the connection was lost. This means that our system has downloaded and is currently installing the update to version 2020.12.0. Let's go to configuration, just to see, this is now Home Assistant version 2020.12.0, this is the let's call it first 1.0 release, it is running as Home Assistant supervised, and if you go to supervisor, system, we can see that this is unsupported installation and running in unhealthy state, but still we were able to download this update and install it. But what if you have already installed Home Assistant, supervised or has a package from Frederick, Frederike, and want to update it, but you cannot since you are receiving those errors. Let me switch the system. So this is my recording setup. It is currently running on Home Assistant 0.118.5. Once again, Home Assistant supervised. And if you go to Supervisor, System, you can see that it is running also in an unsupported or unhealthy state. If we try and press Update, we get this error. Update failed, unknown error, see Supervisor. In Supervisor, in the log, you will find this warning, Home Assistant Core Update blocked from execution. 
system is not healthy. This is related to this error, system running in unsupported environment, and critical error, system running in an unhealthy state and need manual intervention. Workaround for this is same as it was for brand new installation. What we have to do, we have to go to Synology. In Synology, let's go to File Station, Docker, SIO, and we have to create one file in this folder where all the other JSON files are. Main menu, text editor, file new, paste here the line of the code that will be included in the description of the video, file, save as, go to this SIO folder where the JSON files are, and name this file jobs.json. JSON. Save it and it should be now in this folder. We have to go back to Home Assistant. In Supervisor, let's go up and let's restart Supervisor. Remember, for this workaround you have to restart Supervisor. If you do restart Home Assistant, nothing will happen. So let's press here Restart. Restarting supervisor can take some time depending on the system. I have very, very slow system, unfortunately. I'm not lucky as some are and I didn't receive a new shiny blue fridge from Home Assistant. So we have to wait a bit. And mind you that if you do use this first official Home Assistant hardware, you would definitely be running supported version and you will not have issues such as this unsupported installation and unhealthy state. So. There's your choice. Let's see if the supervisor is started. Let's go to dashboard and let's try to update now. Let's check the log. We are currently updating our system to 2020.12.0. After creating jobs.json file, we created this critical error. The following job conditions are ignored, healthy, and will make the system unstable when they occur. Please remember that this workaround will not make your system, your Synology supported environment or healthy state, but on the other hand, it will allow you, at least for now, for your system to continue running supervised version on Synology with the, let's call it like that, native package from Frederick. Frederick, thank you once again for this package. It really helps a lot. If you want to make sure that we get a chance for, let's call it like that, official environment, my suggestion is to go and try contact Synology support and see when are they planning to release Docker version 19.3. Okay, the system is now updating and the next time it restarts, we should have the latest version running. The system is still starting up, but we can already go down and check. It says that it stopped everything, cleaned everything, restarted everything. If we go to configuration, information, we can see that now our Home Assistant supervised on unsupported platform is running Home Assistant 2020.12.0 core. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. I know that I have said it already a dozen of times, but I will say it one more time. Remember, Synology is not officially supported package, so opening issues related to the unhealthy or unsupported state will not get you very far if you do it on official Home Assistant repository. If you have any kind of a problem or issue with Home Assistant installation, on Synology running Sino Community Package, you can try contacting me in the Discord server, but also you can try and ask for help in community of the Home Assistant on a very specific link that I will be posting also in the description of the video. But as I said, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always find me on the Discord server but you're also free to leave it down in the comment section below. 
If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.